Hey beauties, hope you guys are all having a awesome day today. I am here to do a good old beauty haul. Um, I've gone shopping a couple of times in the past couple weeks. Wanted to show you guys everything I got and my dog wants to say hi. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi everyone? Hi. <laughs> can you say hi? This is Bo. This is my beautiful baby, little Yorkie boy that I love very much. He's a little shy. He says, what is this night, mama? You say, what is that night, mama? <gasps> what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to put you down. You want to sit with me? You want me to get down? Okay, we'll have him sit with me for a minute. As long as you're a good boy, you can sit with mama, okay? All right. Let me go ahead and start this haul. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys, so um, dive right in. So first items, if I can hold them properly, are these Pacifica items. One of them is the Dream Lit Under Eye Brightener, and then the Dream Lit Glow Concealer. So these go really nicely together. I've actually been using these the past couple days. I really like them. They're great for no makeup days, or no makeup makeup, I should say, days, if you want something light. And they have a really nice tube. It's glass. This is made out of glass, so it's a really nice. It feels very heavy and luxurious. And this kind of has like an iridescent type uh, finish to it. Um, it's You can't really see it on the camera, honestly, but this is what it looks like on the applicator. Kind of like a creamy let's see white color with like a little bit of like pearlescent look to it it's really hard to see on the camera but um basically it's supposed to um brighten and reflect light and instantly lift underneath your eyes so this is the box came in and then i have the concealer i got in the shade 11 and this is one of the lightest, if not the lightest shade. With concealers, I like to do a really light shade just to brighten everything up. And here is what the applicator looks like. So this is a really, really nice uh, concealer. The coverage is really good and it doesn't look cakey and it really blends in nicely to give you that no makeup makeup look which I love um, for light makeup days where I want to just put a little bit of makeup on so I don't look like a zombie. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean. <laughs> so those are from, I actually got those from H-E-B, but you can get those anywhere um, that Pacifica is sold. This is another Pacifica item. I found these at Target. These are absolutely incredible. They are silicone under eye masks. So these are reusable under eye masks made of silicone. Comes in this really cute tin packaging that you store them in. And I actually used these the other day and I love them. They're nice and sticky so that they really stay on the under eye area. They don't slide around, nothing like that. So how you use these is you take your favorite eye cream slash serum or both, um, put them on and then you put these on top of it and then you wear them for however long you want. I have really bad under eye bags, so I wanted to find a good under eye mask and I found these, um, or I saw these I should say, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is genius. I can use my eye creams that I have because I have so many. Um, I've had gotten a lot of eye creams recently just trying to get rid of those bags and yeah, really excited about these. Um, and they stay on really well. Like you'd be surprised how sticky they are. And even though I've used them already, they're still super sticky. You just rinse them off with soap and water um, after you use them and they are nice and sticky. So this is what they look like. All right, the next items are these pixie items. So I got the On The Glow blush. This one is super cool because it is pH adjusting. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the pH adjusting lip tints or like lip balms where they basically change to like a, your own unique pink color. So this is what it looks like and you just twist it and it comes up like that. And then let me go ahead and put this on right here. So this is what it looks like. Obviously it's gonna change a little bit. Um, it kind of just 
changes based on your body chemistry slash temperature and then you get your own your very own unique shade of pink and you can actually use this on your lips as well it says you can use it on cheeks and lips so this is going to give you a really dewy um look with your own unique shade on your lips on your lips and your cheeks i should say um it's going to give you that really nice dewy glow so this is what it looks like so far and i think it's super cool that they came out with this for your cheeks um so you have your own little unique shade i also got the on the glow bronze and i got the color soft glow and this actually is not dark enough. I got, I saw the darker one and I was like, that is way too dark. But this one is just not enough. It's just not pigmented enough. Um, I have to like go over it a few times. I really like the concept of it and that it's like illuminating. Whenever I go over it a few times, it gives a little bit more color. But on my cheeks, um, it did not show up at all and it kind of just like rubbed my makeup off underneath it and made kind of a mess. So um, I'll have to get the darker shade and see if it works better for me. But I was really excited about this because it has really good reviews. So I'm gonna have to definitely exchange this for the other shade. And both of these are from Target. Actually, wait, I got this one at Target and I got this one at H-E-B because H-E-B had the darker shade but not or Target had the darker shade, but not the lighter shade. But I saw this lighter shade at H-E-B. Um, if you're not in Texas, you obviously will have to go to Target or Ulta. They both sell Pacifica. So if you want to try those, um, either of those places will have them. All right, the next item. This is from TJ Maxx. This is the Cora Very Bright Under Eye Cream. So this is actually a refill. This brand does think, uh, refills for all of their products. Basically, uh, Whenever you're done with your jar, you keep the jar and then you buy the refill, you pop the pot out and put the new one. I actually don't have the eye cream um, yet, so I don't have the jar, but I could not pass up on the price. It's only $9.99 for this at TJ Maxx and it's like $50 at Sephora. So I was like, whatever, I'll just use an old skincare jar um, and put it in that whenever I get home. I haven't transferred it over, obviously, um, but for 10 bucks, I really couldn't pass up on this. And I have some other Cora products, like a couple of moisturizers, and I love them. So um, I'm definitely excited to try this. I know it's super weird that it doesn't have the jar, but I looked around to see if they had the actual like eye cream with the jar, but they didn't, unfortunately. But what can you do? Um, like I said, it was a great deal. I had to get it. So. All right, next item is Physicians Formula Diamond Filler Cheek and Lip Color. So this is really nice, it comes in really cute packaging. It's actually for extra sensitive and breakout prone skin, which is great. Um, I really, really like that it's not gonna cause any breakouts or irritation. And here is what it looks like, really pretty. Um, it is the shade Brilliant Peach. So it's like a really nice nudie pink peachish kind of color and I love dual use products that you can use on your cheeks and lips I love the versatility of them this is the color here is really pretty it's like a nice velvet um, type finish and I love the packaging on this this is from Target and I'm guessing anywhere that sells Physicians Formula will have this as well, like CVS or Ulta. I'm sure that they'll have it. All right, and the next product is also a lip product. I got quite a few lip products. Um, this is the Benefit Moisturizing Lip Balm in the shade Spiced Red. This is from Marshalls. It was $7.99. I thought the packaging was so cute on this, which is why I got it. And the tube is really cute as well. It's got like a little scalloped flower like bottom to it and little flower on the bottom it's so cute i love it um here is the lip balm and i will swatch it it's actually kind of similar hey guys no no my dog was walking uh sorry about that chloe 
No bark. Sorry. So these shades actually look kind of similar. So this is supposed to be a moisturizing lip balm. It's actually not that moisturizing. I was a little disappointed about that. It is very pigmented. If you want something with a little bit of moisture with a lot of pigment, this would be really good for you. But um, I didn't notice it being super moisturizing, unfortunately. And then here's another lip product that I got by Makeup Revolution. This one is from Target. It's called the Pout Tent. So the reason I got this one is because this is a lip gloss that's supposed to dry down um, with a flush of color. So once that kind of like glossiness wears off, which it always does, like if you eat or drink anything, you know, it's gonna wear off. Um, and this is supposed to leave behind some color. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to work. Um, let's watch it right here. And this is the swatch right here. Um, I got the color Sweet Pink. So it's a really nice, cute little pink color. Um, I used this, but I didn't use it on its own. So I can't really say if it like left color behind. I used it over a lip liner and a matte. So I actually need to use it uh, on its own to see if it leaves that kind of stain behind. Um, Cause I am really curious if it if it does, that's gonna be a go-to for sure. And I'm gonna get more um, more shades in that. All right, and that one was from Target. I don't know if I said that, it's Makeup Revolution. This is another, yet another lippy um, by Maybelline. It is their Lifter Plump Gloss. This has Max Lip Effect and Chili Pepper Pimint Chili in it. So this is a nice pink like shimmer there's got glitter in it, like a gold glitter. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but I got the shade 002 Mauve Bite. So this is a really good lip plumper. I will swatch it, you guys can see. So these two are kind of similar in color. This last product that I used and this, the nice pink, put a little bit on. As you can see, it's got that little bit of shimmer to it. And I actually have another lip plumper um, that I got recently. I've really been like getting into makeup again lately. I was like so obsessed with makeup for a while and doing tons of hauls and like shopping and stuff. And I kind of like fell off for a little bit, but now I'm back. So I'm getting lots of stuff again. Uh, anyways. This is kind of similar. This is the Big Mouth um, Lip Plumping Oil Gloss by Polite Society. So it looks like it's kind of like a peachy color, but when you put it on, it is very clear. Like there's no tint to it at all. Um, this one, holy crap. This one's got pepper in it. This one has got infinity pepper in it. And this stuff burns. Go look at the reviews for this on Ulta and you will see. If you want an intense, very intense uh, lip plumper, I would recommend this. Um, I haven't tried this one enough to be able to tell how well it works. You can feel that like tingly lip plump sensation, but this one you can really feel. I got this one at Ulta. This is the travel size because um, this is kind of an expensive brand because it's clean um, ingredients. So, um, yeah, I wanted to try the smaller one first before buying the more expensive full size. But um, I did notice also with this one from Polite Society, uh, it gives your lips a really nice flush of like pink to it, which I like. And it that doesn't happen right away. You have to let it, you know, kind of do its thing and plump your lips up and then that flush of color will kind of come in. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Um, burns really bad. Uh, if you get that, just expect that really, really intense lip plumping burn feeling. Okay, the next item is this Herbivore Aquarius Pore Purifying um, Cream. And I this is actually something I already have. I got this through my FabFitFun subscription. Um, they have what is called add, well, actually this wasn't an add-on. The first, the first jar of this that I bought was an add-on. This is actually a chosen item like this was one of the choices that you could choose through your customization um and this is a really really great 
skincare product for if you struggle with acne at all and you don't want to get super dry. So this is the jar. I'm actually almost out of my other jar. And um, since this was one of the choices, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this because it's like 50 bucks um, if you buy it from Herbivore or Sephora. So um, the box itself from FabFitFun is $50, I believe. Yeah, it's $50. Um, so it's literally like getting this you get like a bunch of other items too so you're basically only paying for like one item which is crazy um i will go ahead and put my fab fit fun um information below if you guys want to get um i'm not sure what promotion they're doing right now you might be able to get a free box or a free starter box if not i will um be able to get you guys a discount at least and i'll put that in the in the um description below so that, once again, the Orbivore Aquarius cream. Really good for breakouts, doesn't dry, it's amazing. All right, this is a hair product. I actually got this from FabFitFun as well. And this was one of the uh, add-ons. Like they have something called an add-on sale where you basically shop like hundreds of items for insanely good deals. And I wanted to try this. This is um, insert name here which is very like viral on social media right now. Um, it's their Got to Grow Multi-Peptide Biotin Hair Density and Strengthening Serum. I have actually been dealing with a lot of um, fallout. Um, I had to go to the dermatologist for it and get, they told me to put on topical minoxidil and like special shampoo and all this stuff. And as you can see this side, it doesn't look super thin like, cause it's kind of like fluffy and frizzy, but this side is very thin, like, as you can see, like, I'm having a lot of, like, thinning here. I am getting some more, like, baby hairs finally growing right there, but this side is thicker, as you can see, like, compared to this side. This side is a lot thicker. Anyways, I was having a lot of fallout, and, um, minoxidil just made tons of hair grow on my face. I was having so much peach fuzz on my face. Um, so I stopped and I wasn't making my hair grow and fall out less. So I stopped using that and I have been using the Divi scalp serum, um, for the past couple months and I really like it. I've noticed so much less hair shedding. Uh, I don't know if it's due to that or not, but I, I can't say it hurts to use. So, um, I really love that to far. And then I saw this, this was a really good deal. So I wanted to try this one and see if it compares to the Divi at all. So. Divi is pretty expensive. It's like $50 for a bottle of it. So it's kind of pricey. Anyway, that is the Got to Grow um, hair serum. And that's from FabFitFun. I also got this really cool brush by Swissco Pro. And this one is from TJ Maxx. I love that it flexes. The bristles are really nice and like soft and pliable. Um, and I've been using like a boar bristle brush for my hair because everything else just like rips it out and like causes tons of breakage. But for five bucks, I was like, hey, I gotta try this. I really love the pliability of it and the bristles feel really nice. Um, and I love that like a bunch of gunk and like hair and stuff can't get stuck in the bottom of it like a typical brush. I think this is a really genius design and the rose gold is pretty. All right. Here is another hair product that I got, and this is from Target. It is the, it is made by Solterre, and it's the Santal Bloom Moisture Bound Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I want to say this was $10.99. I know I haven't been good about saying the prices of everything because it's kind of hard to remember, but I do remember that this was $10.99. Um, smells like Santal Bloom, which is a fragrance that Solterre came out with, and I really like this. I used this on my ends the other day. My hair felt super soft. Um, and I'm going to wash my hair tonight and use this and I'm super excited to see how it works. Um, there wasn't a ton of reviews for this. I always, uh, look up reviews on things before I buy them to make sure that they're like at least somewhat well reviewed. I know it's like certain things are hard to, um, you know, rely on others reviews cause it's, you know, everybody's different and whatever. This was cheap. So I really am excited to try that out. I also got this uh, Elastine um, 
Propylai Thera Damage Repair Shampoo. So this is a product actually made by Avon, and I found this at Marshalls, believe it or not, which is really crazy. Um, this is really cool looking. It has like an iridescent like glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but um, I'm guessing that's gonna give the hair a lot of shine and luster, which I'm super excited about. Um, and it's got royal jelly and propolis in it, and it was only $7.99. I was really sad that they didn't have the matching conditioner for this. They only had the shampoo. So I went ahead and got that and I'm excited to try it. You wanna get down? I'll let my dog down. Excuse my squeaky chair. <laughs> my kitchen chairs have gotten all squeaky. Okay, next item. This is the Sand and Fog Pistachio Dream Eau de Parfum Oil. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. If you've ever smelt um, the pistachio perfume by Kayali, which is made by Huda Katan. This smells exactly like it. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. This is from TJ Maxx, $14.99 was, is the price. Um, the only thing I will say about this is this is a very weird texture. It is sticky, um, and leaves like a weird, like, residue behind which I don't like. I did notice that if I like try to blend it out with like a lotion, it helps a lot. But um, other than that, it smells so good. It's got notes of pistachio, vanilla, brown sugar, and cream. Oh my gosh, if you wanna smell like, if you want someone to like wanna eat you and just say, oh my gosh, you smell so good. This is really, really good. I am planning on getting another dupe for that pistachio perfume. Um, off of Amazon. It's a little bit more expensive. It's around like 40, it's a little less than $40. Um, I found, I was looking on Amazon for a bunch of different dupes and I found that one and I definitely want to try that out. It's got a really pretty bottle that comes in and it's still over less than half the price of the other, um, the other brand. <laughs> so yeah, this is a random item I wanted to show you guys. It's a bling like adhesive, thing of uh you use these for your like for inside of your car to decorate your car like around the radio or wherever you want to like bling out and accentuate i have a bunch of bling in my car um already like the custom little buttons for the um radio and like for the little trackpad in the middle and stuff by the center console i've got a bunch of bling in there and i'm excited to bling out some more stuff with this you can like cut in half and put it anywhere you want. It actually looks really nice. A lot of these, a lot of these crystals, like from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, look really cheap. These look really good. They look just as good as Swarovski, as Swarovski um, or Swarovski, however you pronounce it. Crystals, um, really blingy. I love that it has the adhesive on there. These are from Burlington. They were like four bucks, so can't really go wrong. Oh, okay. That is pretty much all I have for like the beauty items. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a couple more items. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a really delicious smelling candle that I got from um, Home Goods. And the jar is so, so pretty. I'm definitely going to use this once it runs out. I'm definitely going to reuse this jar. Uh, this was $12. It is the Tahitian Vanilla Scent by Sand and Fog. It smells so so good. I wish you guys could smell it through the phone. It is absolutely delicious. And this is 14.5 ounces. And then I have another candle I wanted to show y'all. And I actually looked at this earlier. Uh, these were the same price. This was also 12 bucks. Um, and I was like, wow, that's weird. This is so much bigger. How is it the same price? But this is actually only 14 ounces. The other one I showed you was 14.5. So this is actually half an ounce less. Um, I already burned this one as you can see. Uh, I'm definitely gonna reuse both of these jars once they're empty. I love this. I think it's gonna be so cute for like jewelry or like little trinket dish. I don't know, it's so cute though. Um, and it's the scent Plumeria. It smells so good. Like I said, I wish you guys could smell this through the phone. Like, mm, it smells like, like florally and like clean slash sweet. Uh, it smells so delicious. And both of those candles are from Home Goods. And then I, this here is from TJ Maxx. 
actually Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, those are all the same company, but anyways, got this one at Marshalls. Holy crap, look at this. That is absolutely stunning. This is a contact case. Doesn't it look like a makeup compact? Does it not look like a makeup compact? So it's got the mirror, the contact case, solution, and there is solution in there, and then little tools to grab your contacts out with, and like a little suction tool if you need help taking your contacts out. I think this is so genius. Like you can just pop it in your purse, and if you get something in your contact, you can have your case in here if you need to rinse your contacts out, or you can just use the mirror for a makeup mirror. Um, it has a lot of uses, and it's so pretty. Like who wouldn't love this as a gift? All of these items I'm showing you guys would make great gifts for Easter, great for Easter baskets. All right, this is so random, but bling is my thing, as you can tell. This is so gorgeous. This is a pill case. So I got this from Amazon. I have quite a few medications I have to take. So I like to keep them all together and then I just like restock it when I need to. Um, but look, this is the inside. Look at this. I got, the reason why this one's offset is because I'm going to put another sticker on here and have two different medications in here. Anyways, um, look, how cute are these little stickers? I got the stickers from Amazon too, and let me show you guys them. So, first of all, holy crap, this is so pretty. I just have to show you guys it one more time. Amazon, like from Amazon, literally what do they not have? And then the stickers also from Amazon and this actually came with a pill case and I ended up giving the pill case to my husband and we were both able to use the stickers like we take similar medications and we were both able to use um, these and have there's like multiples of each and look how many comes in here like anything you take over the counter is gonna have a sticker for it like they have everything in here I think it's such a cute and fun way to uh, label your medications. I feel like it just makes it more fun to take them. And I don't know, that's just me. But these come with it as well. They're like little blank labels and like day of the week labels for if you wanna label them for each day of the week. And there's just tons of stickers. I think these were like $6 and it came with the pill case. Of course, I bought an another pill case because I'm bougie and wanted the bling one. But um, the stickers work well for the one that I got too. And the one that it came with, obviously they work well. My husband's using that one. And uh, I just cannot stop staring at this. It is so pretty. That is everything that I have to show you guys. And if you guys have questions, please let me know below. Um, if you have not subscribed already and you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you have questions, let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you guys have like any video ideas, if you want to see more hauls, if you want to see me take you along shopping, um, anything like that, please let me know. And yeah, um, I'll try to put as much info as I can in the description about the things I talked about. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry the video was a little bit long, but uh, I love you guys. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.